lash line. My name is Val and the company that I started or the brand that I'm, I started was Volumes by Val. Now how I started my meat lash line, I researched, researched, and researched if it was going to be a good market for me myself. However, it's different actual businesses that you can go into that you probably would like yourself. However, for myself, I actually decided to do a meat lash line. As you can see, I am wearing a pair of Volumes by Val here. Um, also, you can actually check me out on my website as well at the end of this video. I'm going to tell you exactly some steps and some tips that I went through as far as how I decided to start my lash line. It may work for you and may not. So these are some tips. Let's just get into it. My first step that I did with starting my meat and lash line was exactly, I researched. You had to research, research, research. When I say research, that means going to Google to see exactly the cost, basically, for the lash line. And I do have a notepad here that actually has a list of things that I actually wrote down and how I started. Um, the first thing I did with starting my meat lash line is that I researched, I brainstormed of everything that I wanted to do as long, along with the cost, because the cost, you know, that's everything when you're starting a business, how much it's going to cost you out of pocket, especially if you're working with a small budget like myself. So I watched a lot of YouTubers and they had great information. They had great tips as well um, about finding a vendor. They had um, as such things as Alibaba and AliExpress. Um, those were two vendors um, that were given out. I did look into those as well. However, I went with a different ven vendor. Number two, the cost. So I did try to stay up under the budget of $100. It may work for you, it may not. I went a little bit over that amount because that was my actual products with me actually putting them online to actually physically sell. Also, you have to actually research and find a good vendor that works for you. When I did find my vendor, I did ask if I could receive samples. That is a plus. The only thing is, is that with the samples, you may have to pay for shipping. So in my case, my vendor did allow samples. However, I had to pay for shipping. And shipping is the most cost efficient amount that you'll be paying for the actual getting it back to you because this is coming from over, over in a different country. So you're going to be wanting to know exactly the actual cost. As far as myself, when I did receive my actual samples, I tested them out. I had family members to test them out before I actually decided to go with that vendor. Um, the only thing I would say is that I didn't get my money back from actually the shipping. So when I placed my first order, I should have, I think that I should have asked if I did get go with their line, would I get reimbursed for shipping with my first order? I didn't ask that. So that's a tip that you may ask your vendor. Along with number three, finding a name. So I was trying to find something catchy, you know, something that would catch the attention of the eye, like what, what will work. And if you want your business to grow, not only with mink lashes, but say for instance, if I'm going to venture out and do something else, what can I, a name that will work for every kind of, business if I wanted to do a clothing line or lip gloss line or just anything in general more than lashes then what will be feasible I guess for anyone to start a business so that's how I came up with my name when I was actually researching along with a help with my sister so one of my sisters did help me with coming up with a catchier phrase so I can't take all the credit my sister did you know who you are. You actually helped me with the name as well. Number four, finding a U.S. domain. So with finding a U.S. domain, you always want something with .com. So I look for my name that I wanted and um, I, I went up under GoDaddy. So GoDaddy is a good, good way of finding a U.S. domain, I would think. You go in, you type in the name that you think that you want your business to be. After you type in that business name, it'll tell you if it's available up under .com, .me, 
or it's just a whole bunch of narratives on there so you get my drift of what it is after you select that it is a cost for your u.s domain the um, least expensive one i show was like 99 cents for a whole year so that is something that's good as well after you find that u.s domain then you would need to also i'm looking down because i'm looking at my notepad but also you would actually need to actually find in your state that you reside in if you're going to need a certificate for actually selling merchandise online. Tip number five, you would need to actually create a website. You need a website as well. So we have Shopify, you have Wix, you have MailChimp. I went up on all of those. All of those are great, but I end up going with a different web um, site vendor that had like a more cost efficient for me so that was something that I did as well with that as far as number seven finding a vendor which we went over that already so we can scratch that out that we already went over that and then the actual shipping cost so the actual shipping cost is the most efficient pricing that you will have. Now, as far as starting to meet Lash Shine, I was kind of like, I don't know what I really would like to sell besides the mink lashes, would I want to sell lash glue, would I would like to sell tweezers, would I like to sell um, actually liner to go with the actual lashes. So I came to find out that I'll start off with my lashes. But my tips to you is that do a lot of research check into your vendors, see exactly what you want. And when you do get those samples, when you get the samples, have your family members to test them out, have test them out on yourself. If they don't work for you, go with someone else that may be um, the lashes, make sure they're durable, that you can reuse them. The, one, the pair that I have on right now, I have actually reused these about three times so far. And it still have the curve pattern and the volume that I like. So as you can see their lashes are a little pop in here. So I do like these lashes. So as far as me giving tips on a meat lash line, this is just a starter. I will be putting up another video actually stating more in depth how I came up and see if you wanna go with an LLC. Also along with actually um, reserving your name things like that in detail. But for this video, I just want to stay on just giving you hot tips on how to do that lash line. The first one, as we went over, that you do your research. The second one tip that you go over is that you're actually going to do your cost and your budget for your line. The third thing, you also will try to find a vendor. Vendor, vendor, vendor is actually the key. And also with the vendor, I forgot to add that for the vendors, you would need to have to download this app called WhatsApp. And that's just like it sound, WhatsApp. You actually have to download that to get in contact with any vendors, even if you go with Alibaba or either AliExpress, which are all still good actually vendors as well. So I don't know exactly if you wanted to go with that, but you can actually go with those as well. I have ordered off there, as I stated. I have never had a problem, but I just didn't go with them as a vendor. Actually, next, I would say after finding that, you would get your U.S. domain. After you get that U.S. domain, make sure that it's something that you really want to have. And like I said, the least least amount that you will pay is like 99 cents for the U.S. domain. And just backpedaling here, be finding your website um, to actually find where you was going to build your website. Um, some of those actually come with a free trial so you can test it out, play around with it. Um, some of those were not in my price range. So I, like I said, I went with a different website um, vendor. And also, um, after you actually find that vendor, and if you get a good rapport with them, they will touch bases with you, like my vendor. 
I can actually go on WhatsApp and actually email them through the WhatsApp or text message them. I say email, but you text message them like, hey, you know, I need an order. And also you want to know how quick you will get your order in. If you have a client that actually is purchasing something from you and you're telling them it's a three to five day turnaround, like myself, it's a three to five day turnaround, but your vendor doesn't turn around or can get your merchandise to you in that timely fashion. So you want to make sure that your vendor can get your products to you um, within that time frame as what they quoted. If they can't come through for you, I would say find another vendor as well. So I also say that that is a great way of knowing and building a rapport, especially if they reply back to you and tell you like, hey, we got the products and they do and they do it on a timely fashion. That's what I like about my vendor. In closing, um, I hope that you found this video a little helpful for you. I know I was all over the place. I am new to YouTube. I'm trying to start out trying to promote my business here um, through the actual YouTube um, channel. So this will be actually me getting my feet a little wet. So I hope you actually will like and like and subscribe if you found this video helpful um, down below. And I will actually um, give you actually my website and that's at Volumes by Val. And that's exactly how it says. And I'll put it down below in the comment section or I'll post it as well for you to see. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I will have a part two. So look out for that for me actually going over the actual part two with you. Thank you. Bye guys.